welcome back to another exciting expedition deep into the heart of the Congo. In today's video, we'll embark on a journey to explore some of the most bone-chilling discoveries and legends that scare scientists to their core. From legendary creatures to the saddening reality of the Congolese, we'll discuss everything, so brace yourself and enjoy the video. Let's start. Number 1. Chimpanzees That Can Even Kill a Lion Billy apes found in the biodiverse jungles of Congo are one of the most terrifying creatures in the world. They are as large as a gorilla and quick as a chimpanzee. They are known for their strength and high intelligence, making them one of the closest creatures that share the similarity of 99% DNA with humans. And really how similar they are to, to humans. With over 375 species of chimpanzees all over the world, they share many traits of a human. Billy apes outclasses all other species in height because an average male can be around 6 feet tall. Billy apes are a breed between a chimpanzee and a gorilla, that's why these apes are so big and strong compared to other species. But is it true that these apes are capable of killing a lion? Let's dive a bit deeper to find out the truth. The Billy Apes are found in the Congolese jungles near the border of the Democratic Republic of Congo. These chimpanzees were named Billy Apes due to their unique appearances similar to gorillas. Many locals from tribes stated that these apes howled at the moon, lived like gorillas, and ate leopards and lions instead of bananas. You don't want to fight a Billy Ape if it comes before you. Give that ape a banana and get out of there as fast as possible. We want to keep our distance around such terrifying monsters. But in truth, there is no proof to all of these claims. These claims can be only stories of the locals, or maybe they are telling the truth that is yet to be discovered by professionals. These chimpanzees can grow beyond the size of an average chimpanzee, about 6 feet tall, making them the tallest species. So far, numerous expeditions have been held to study these apes. Cleve Hicks, a primatologist who has led several expeditions, has stated that these claims, such as howling at the moon and killing lions, are exaggerated. Number 2. Cobalt Cobalt is a silvery, blue material that has captivated the world with its heat-resistant properties. It mainly manufactures rechargeable batteries and numerous other devices like mobile phones, laptops, and electronic vehicles. But did you know that most of the world's cobalt reserves are in Congo? It's estimated that over 50% of the world's cobalt is reserved in the small mines located all around Congo, which ultimately makes it one of the most essential minerals in the world. So mining is a major activity in Congo, from adults to children all risk their lives to extract cobalt so they can make money. Mining cobalt is no easy task, especially when it's being done in underdeveloped countries like Congo. Numerous reports of such issues arise throughout the year, from unsafe working conditions to human rights violations. With over 95.89 million population, Congo has been suffering from abject poverty for a long time, from child labor to extreme heat of the sun. All sorts of heart-wrenching things happen here. The high demand for cobalt has inadvertently led to the exploitation of miners, including children, working in hazardous conditions. Countless efforts have been made to make things better. Still, the country is so large and the mining of cobalt is happening in a vast area, making it nearly impossible to reach out to everyone and educate them individually. Mining of cobalt is one of the few jobs available for the people of Congo. It has greatly impacted the generated revenue of the country and put food on the table for countless families, but at the cost of their precious lives. Instead of going to school, the children get up daily to work in the mines under such harsh conditions that we can't even imagine. Number 3. The Legend of Lake Telly Nestled within the depths of the Congo lies the mysterious Lake Teli, surrounded by dense swamp forests and home to Mokele Mbembe, one who stops the flow of rivers. 
The locals described the Mokeli as a spirit and sometimes a giant lizard-like entity living in Lake Teli and possibly in Congo River Basin. It's an unidentified reptilian creature and a famous legend among the locals. The creature has captivated explorers from all over the world. No one knows whether the so-called legend is a myth or an actual living creature lurking around the mysterious swamps of Congo. It's stated that they resemble a sauropod dinosaur with a long neck, a powerful tail, and formidable size, which raises the point that dinosaurs might not be fully extinct. Some species might still be living in isolated parts of the Earth. Tales of Mokele have been passed down the generations, embarking the passion of searching for this creature even more. Pygmies and the Bantu are the indigenous tribes that reside near Lake Teli. These tribes are known for their cultures and traditions, enriched with the stories of this legendary creature, Mokele Mbembe. They tell the tales of this creature as the lake's guardian, a spiritual entity or a deity of the lake. Numerous expeditions took place to find this creature, but no clue was found. Explorers such as Herman Regusters and James Powell ventured into the Congo in search of evidence of the Mokele Mbembe, but despite their efforts, no proof was found that the creature existed within these swamps. Numerous sketches of the creature and countless theories were presented stating the idea of a giant crocodile such as the Nile crocodile that is gigantic, resembling the sketches of Mokele. In the end, Mokele remains a legend that terrorizes many as a monster and, at the same time, worshipped by many as a spiritual legend. Number 4. Gorilla Berengii Growry The Eastern Lowland Gorilla, aka Gorilla Berengii Growry, are the largest gorilla species found in the dense jungles of Congo. These species inhabit the eastern part of the Democratic Republic of the Congo and perfectly embody King Kong in real life. <laughs> the adult males, known as silverbacks, can weigh more than 400 pounds and are 5.6 feet tall when standing up. They are extremely strong and can easily rip a human in half, thanks to their robust body. They are like the bodybuilders of the jungles with muscular bodies and pumped chests with silvery white hair on their backs, giving them their title as silverbacks, making them one of the most magnificent creatures in Congo. Lowland gorillas have mesmerized scientists with their physical strength. They live in groups that make them social animals, and these groups are led by the silverback male who acts as their protector and helps them survive like lions. These gorillas are primarily found in lowland land forests and swamps of Congo far away from human reach. Still, they are in danger of going extinct due to being threatened by habitat loss, poaching, and diseases. Numerous actions are being taken to preserve these majestic creatures for future generations. Conservation organizations, local communities, and governmental bodies are actively involved in initiatives to protect the eastern lowland gorillas. From raising awareness to arresting illegal hunters and stopping trafficking, the government, with the help of locals, are trying their best to save these rare species of gorillas. R.I.P. Diane Fossey, an American primatologist and a passionate woman who was murdered while protecting the silverbacks from poachers. Number 5. Jibba Fofi the last terrifying discovery in Congo on our list is a mythical creature known as Jibba Fofi, a gigantic spider that is known to have about three to six foot long legs. The locals describe this creature as a spiritual entity and avoid going to places where these creatures exist at all costs. The gigantic spider has a hairy body and lurks within the deep forests, weaving massive webs. Numerous tales about these creatures circulate among the local communities, mainly the Pygmies and the Bantu, but there are only tales, and no actual evidence was ever discovered. 50,000 known species to date, and there's probably easily 10 times more than that that have not been found. Even though they are just tales, it didn't stop the explorers from investigating themselves. On numerous expeditions, countless species of spiders were found that might not be as big as six feet tall. 
but they are about the size of a small kitten, which is pretty damn big and a nightmare for someone with arachnophobia. In 1980, researcher William Gibbons went out on an expedition to uncover the truth behind these massive spiders. A ride up to a gigantic spider called the Jiba Fufi, which means giant spider. That On his journey, he interviewed the locals of the Baca tribes and their representatives, and according to what he heard from the locals, it appeared the spider was around 100 to 120 centimeters big. Who knows, Hagrid might be raising another spider in those forests. Well, we can't say that such a thing can't exist until there's any solid evidence, so it's a cliffhanger. You can't believe the claims, nor can you deny them. If a spider like the Goliath Bird Eater can exist, so can the Jibafofi. From the mining of one of the essential minerals to legendary creatures, Congo is the land of jungles where anything can happen. If you're looking for a place on Earth where mythical creatures can exist, Congo is the perfect place to bring it to reality. With its diverse jungles and isolation, some rare and extinct species still lurk around these mysterious forests that captivate science worldwide. So that's it everyone, hope you all enjoyed today's video, and if you did, smash that like and subscribe button to see more similar content. Don't forget to ring the bell icon and tell us in the comments if you know of any terrifying discoveries in Congo. Thank you all for watching and see you in the next one, goodbye.